Hi, Hans, and thank you for being here with us today. Um, you know, it's been exactly 10 years since you started Gradle. What did you see at that time that made you want to start this project? So it was a, a deep frustration about uh, how hard it was to, to automate many aspects of the software development process, right? And, and I was always a, a you know, very test-driven, agile software engineer and wanted to apply that, those practices to my teams. And, and the build automation was often a blocker for doing this successfully. So, uh, so the, the, it was too hard for developers to do simple experiments, to get fast feedback on, on, on things they wanted to do with the code, uh, or the feedback took too long, or it was not reliable. So those were, those, those was my frustration. And then, and then I decided, hey, let's see, right? Let's, let's do my own experiment here to see uh, if I can do something better. Mm -hmm. And so Gradle has, since that time, uh, turned into a top 20 open source project. What would you say has changed since that time? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, so, yeah, we have now more than 10 million downloads per month, right? So we're very, I'm still uh, stunned by uh, uh, looking back to the humble beginnings, right, uh, in, my, in my Berlin apartment, writing the first lines of code of Gradle, and now we have millions of users, right? So, so uh, a, a lot has changed in the last, uh, in, 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 in that time. Uh, so I would say, I mean, a very simple thing has changed. The code bases are growing and growing and growing. So all the problems that I've seen 10 years ago getting, getting worse and worse and worse. But two other things have changed. So one thing is microservices, right? Moving, which often means moving to, to, to uh, 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 many, many repositories has significantly increased the complexity of, of shipping software, of continuous integration and continuous delivery, right? The software stack got much more diverse. I mean, when you think back, it was normal for a company to say, we are a Java shop. No company is saying that anymore. They, you know, they have, they have languages that, that suit their different needs, right? So, so things have become more polyglot. Uh, but I would say the most important thing that has changed is that uh, for businesses, most of their major innovations, I'm not just talking about software innovations, innovation in general, have to be funneled through software, right? And that is, uh, and that, and not being able to efficiently produce software is now, is now an existential threat, right? And that definitely has changed. Many more industry are now, industries are now in that area. Originally, in that spot, originally it was mostly the soft, the classical software companies, but now as we know, it's across all the industries. And so, so developer productivity is becoming a, a very strategic thing for companies that, that, that understand that, right? So. so tell us a little bit about your uh, commercial offering, Gradle Enterprise. Uh, you know, who are your customers and uh, what problems are you solving? Yeah, so, so it's uh, companies that have realized that, that uh, uh, innovation goes through software and that is a, it's, it's a major competitive advantage that you can gain through that. Uh, so companies like LinkedIn, Airbnb, uh, Twitter, Yelp, Spotify, SAP, Tableau, but also more, cl more traditional companies, insurance companies like Mutual of Omaha or you know, big banks. So those, but we have that awareness, we have a modern perspective on the importance of software. So, so and um, uh, so, for them, it is a no-brainer to invest into anything that unblocks developers, right? So that reduces waiting time for developers, that uh, 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 keeps developers in the flow, that pr shields them from flaky f signals that, that indicate something is wrong or right with your, with your change. Uh, so if they, they understand that, that developers are the key to getting their innovation out and that, that and so for th th those are the types of companies that, that buy Gradle Enterprise, the commercial product. And um, so the problem, right, we, we're trying to address, and that it, it's, it's almost, it, it's an interesting situation, right? So uh, when you look at all the major industries that are out there, automotion, chemical industries, right, whoever, whoever manufactures something, for all of those industries, right? Data is the key to effectively produce software. So if I would go to, I would say, 
maybe with, with a handful of exceptions, to any software company in the world and ask the most basic data about their software manufacturing process. How many tests have you run last week? How many of them failed? What is the average time a test take? The answer would be, I have no idea. Right. And we're talking about something that costs developers hours of hours every day. So this is not like a minor thing, right? It's, we're talking easily about bottlenecks and inefficiencies that that take a day or more away of every developer in the organization. There is no insight, right? And with no insight, they, you cannot optimize in any reasonable way. It's way. Software is way too complex to gut feel wise, oh, what do we have to do to make developers more productive? You need to have the data, and hardly anyone has production data about that, right? To across the developer tool chain, where are the inefficiencies? Right? I could tell you crazy examples, right? We recently had a case. At, and those are smart companies, and yet they, they, they didn't realize that they were executing every integration test twice. And we're complaining about long build times. It's like, it's hilarious. And it was going on for years, right? So, so but once you, have, once you have data collection, right, you, 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 you can, you're able to get on top of that. And that is one thing our product provides, uh, the instrumentation across the developer tool chain and, and exposing bottlenecks. Right. And what would you say is your vision for Gradle in the industry? So the vision for me is that software engineering becomes, the production of software becomes as professional as in the other industries. So you have a, so I want to see a PhD thesis on are monorepos more effective or less effective than multi-repos. I want to see from academia to practitioners, right? I, I want to see a full embrace of the manufacturing of software as a discipline that is so complex, such an exciting topic. Traditionally, people who, who were responsible for, let's say, build and release engineering were second class engineers. They were not good enough to writing application code. That, that's where we have been 10, where we were 10 years ago. So this is changing, but we're still at the very beginning. And then I want to see that, that, that every software team has experts dedicated to getting the full potential of the developers out, right? Really unblocking them and giving them also some of the joy back they had, especially in the larger teams when doing software in the beginning. And a lot of that is now turning into frustration because of, of, the, of some of the problems I have described. So that is my, give them and then arm them with the data, with deep analytics to, to those experts, to productivity experts to do that, to do that job. That's my, that's my vision for the industry. Tell me how developers can get started with Gradle Enterprise. So uh, uh, you can go to gradle.com, right? Look at the uh, introductory video. Um, uh, we also have a website, scans, a service scans.gradle.com, where you can do some of the instrumentation and uh, analytics for free I talked about. And then just contact us, right? Do a trial with us. We, we, we're more than happy to help you. We have a lot, a lot of expertise in the field. and. Uh, and then let the data speak for itself, right? It will be very interesting the first time you really see, oh, what, what, what actually is happening, right? How, how, how efficient uh, is the tool chain for the team in Bangalore versus the team in London, right? All questions that, are, that do not have an answer today for most organizations. Uh, Hans, uh, thank you for coming and talking with us. Thank you very much for having me. Awesome.